Mike Anderzak. I'm with Anderzak Pits and Construction. We started about 20 years ago. Started out as a small excavating and underground contractor. And then over time, uh, we got involved in other ventures with milling, cell stabilizing, and we perform a lot of work for the railroads now as far as uh, site preparation. And we are doing more site preparation in uh, the uh, private sector as well. So we've kind of gotten away from being an underground contractor and, and we're doing more grading, so to speak. Luke Matheson with uh, Columbus Equipment uh, invited us down to Cartersville about four years ago when the I machine was first being developed and asked if we would uh, kick the tires, if you will. And so we obliged him and went down there. I took one of our main operators uh, and went down and we spent the week, uh, well, actually two, three days uh, looking at the eye machine. Uh, we actually fell in love with it the first time we looked at it and then operated it. And uh, we just, uh, the way we bounce around and the way we have to move uh, with the eye machine, uh, you needed less layout. We have our in-house GPS person that does our 3D modeling, so it made it a lot easier for him to set up the models and with the eye machine. Uh, I can turn a guy loose without any staking. Uh, all you need is a few control points and you're on your way. And uh, it eliminated some labor. And the, and the need for staking and surveying. Uh, we could put a person in the machine with some knowledge of GPS and turn him loose and, and he could start building the job without a lot of staking and, and a lot of hands-on uh, grade checking and, and hence made us more efficient in what we do. I told, uh, told Luke um, that Komatsu had really done their homework uh, just by the, the comfort for the operator, the visibility greatly improved, uh, the fan being in the re rear of the machine, uh, that's always a problem with the dozer having that fan making dust and, and uh, being uncomfortable for the operator. Uh, aside from the, the uh, integrated GPS, they really did their homework on how the machine's built and how efficient it, it operates. I, we have people, the minute they know they're going on a job, our farmer go, are we going to get a site eye machine? We need an eye machine. So consequently, it's, it's kind of spoiled our, our people because uh, we're so reliant on the eye machines now that we've had to go out and rent eye machines to support what we own. Um, people, our operators see the value and, and our foreman. They can just tell somebody what they need done, look at the 3D model on the machine and turn them loose and they don't have to do any babysitting. It makes an operator's job a lot easier. He's got line, he knows where everything's at. He's got grade of anywhere he goes. Never thought they'd ever have something like this, but it's pretty awesome. Um, so you can build a job with, I would say, with 30% less, you know, job force. It's harder and harder to find good qualified people, and, and the I machines uh, make it easier. If you have one good, competent operator, he can be the lead for the whole project, and you can get by with less experienced people that way. We're able to, annually, we're able to perform more work with less resource, or less resources. I mean, it, it just makes us so much more efficient. Uh, a job that would take six, seven people, you can do with three. And uh, it's, it's affected the bottom line. It's made us more profitable, and, and it's so competitive nowadays in our area. There's more contractors in our work, so consequently you have to travel outwards and you're competing um, nationally here. And uh, it's made us more efficient and, and we've been able to acquire uh, or obtain more work 
and it all flows to the bottom line. Um, I think it's here to stay. Um, I know it's somewhat in its infancy stages, but uh, we haven't had any downtime. Um, Columbus Equipment's been great if we've had a problem. They've been Johnny on the spot as far as rectifying what the problem is, and uh, their technical support has been excellent. Uh, if you have a problem, uh, they can usually figure it out from the office, so it's, it's nice in that regard that we don't have to shut down for an extended period of time. Totally satisfied. We bought our first machine from Columbus Equipment. Um, it wasn't a Komatsu, but we uh, bought a JCB backhoe from them back in um, 1996. And uh, that started a relationship, worked with Gary Norman there. I don't think he's with the firm anymore, but uh, and then Luke took over where Gary left off. And we rely on Luke for, uh, he's our answer man. So he's, he's been a, a godsend for us. It's, it's been a good relationship. If, if you want to stay ahead of the times, uh, you need to get involved with technology. And if you're not, you're, you're not going to survive very long. And uh, this IMC machine, they are the top.